In this video, we're going to take a look at the AAAS Science Assessment Item Bank and how that might be useful to you as you work to develop your SLO. The easiest way to get to the Assessment Item Bank is to type in AAAS Assessment Topics and that'll bring you to the link directly. You click on that and then you'll find all of the topics. So there are a number of topics here. I'm going to take a look at the physical science topic and go down to substances, chemical reactions, and conservation of matter. I teach chemistry. So I'll go here and it will list a number of different kind of general topic headings. So I'm going to go down to the fourth one here that talks about whenever substances within a closed system interact with one another, the total mass of the system remains the same. That's our conservation of matter or mass. And that's what I'm interested in. So I'm going to go right to the student performance and it shows me a number of different items and the number of students that are answering those items correctly. So it's nice because I can compare my students performance to a national sample. I'm going to go down and click on the fifth one down here as the thermometer is heated and the level of liquid in the thermometer rises the mass of the liquid stays the same. Okay so I click on that and it takes me to the actual question. So we see the question here which is saying basically as this amount of liquid rises up the mass stays the same. The mass is conserved. You'll note that it also tells us over here on the side some information about the item. The topic tells us the correct answer just so we can be sure and then it tells us that choice A that the mass increases is a really common idea, a misconception or an alternate conception that students have when asked this question. We can also go over and click on student performance and here we have data for this national sample but it's a bit disaggregated. We can see that overall 35% of the students answered the question correctly and that we can also look then at 6th through 8th, 9th through 12th, male, female, and we can look at language learning status as well. So this is very useful if we want to make comparisons to what we're doing to a national sample. Note that you can register with the AAAS Science Assessment website and create your own item bank. And that item bank would consist of items that you selected for your students. You can then have your students actually take the questions and it will record their responses and you can use that in your research. In my SLO, we used Google Forms. We found that was a little bit easier for us, but this is an option that is available. So that's the AAAS Science Assessment Item Bank. They have over 600 questions. They've been piloted, tested, very carefully written, and they're based on the research literature that shows what we know about student learning and their understanding of these topics. So hope you found this video useful and that it aids you in your SLO. This is Wayne Breslin, and thanks for watching.